Hey guys, Matt here with Bleep and Jeep. Today I've got a little quick tip for you about your drive shaft. So the other day I was working on my front axle and the drive shaft fell apart and that brought me to a question, how do you know which way to align it to put it back together? If you didn't know already, a drive shaft has to be in phase or in time and if you have one of these slip ones and it comes apart, you need to know how to put it back together. So on the Adams drive shafts, which I have here, they have little marks on them. You can see right here there's two little dots on this side and two little dots on this side. If it falls apart it's pretty easy to figure out where they need to go just by lining those two dots up. If you don't have that though, if you don't have an Adams drive shaft you might not have those little dots. So what you need to do is look at the hard... I like to think of it like this. This is the immovable part here and the immovable part here. This is a single carbon and this is a double carbon, but it works the same way. So this is the immovable part lines up with the immovable part. Now if you noticed, this one is out of phase. So this needs to line up exactly with this. So what you would do... Okay, that one's a little used. <laughs> but what you would do is line up this with this, if that makes sense. This one with this one. And not like this, not like this, not like this, but exactly like that. So we're going to put it together back like this. You can actually sight down it to make sure that it's correct. Now if you don't have marks on your drive shaft, you could have this out 180. So these drive shafts are balanced. That's what these pieces are right here and here. Those are like the balancing weights on your wheels. So if you get it back together like this, take it for a test drive and if it's shaking a lot, what you'll do is you'll take it back off, which I'm not gonna do. It's a little bit sticky. But you would take it back off, rotate it around 180 degrees, put it back on, and see if the vibrations get better. And that will get your drive shaft back in phase. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned a little something there. And what I would recommend that you do, though, if you right now go under your Jeep, if you have one of these types of uh, slip drive shafts, check to see if it has the little marks to put it back together. If it doesn't, take you a little punch and just punch two little marks here and two little marks on this side right across from each other. That way if it ever falls apart you'll know exactly how to put it back together. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.